guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming part two and part three of my July and August haul videos. Of course, I had explained in part one that I didn't really have enough time to film, and so I saved everything, and now I'm just filming back to back. So I just got back from a party for my friend Jelsa, and of course, you guys always ask how Teddy is, and he's here in full force, just waiting to, oh, assault my face with his nose. Let me show you guys, oh God. You guys wanna see how big Teddy is? He's about 11 pounds. Like he's just like this tiny little guy. So I can just hold him all day. Right? Oh God, no. Not the face, Teddy. And then he'll like lay in my arm like a little baby. Should we put you down though? So mommy can film? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, say goodbye. Say yeah, bye. <laughs> I gotta hold the box, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna put him down. Watch out. Oh my gosh, he won't leave me alone. He's like down here. Teddy, can you sit? Can you sit? Okay, I'll get you after. Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. Oh my goodness. Okay, down. Lay down. Okay, guys. Let's get into this haul. Okay, so I put everything in this ginormous Sephora box because I didn't want to miss anything. And I'm going to probably do this in two hauls because I don't want to make these videos like uber duper long. Let's see here. Okay, so one of the first things I got in the month of July, I believe, Sydney Grace was doing a sale. They had like a week long sale and I didn't buy too many things, but some of the things I did pick up were some more of their cream shadows. They came out with like 11 to 12 new shades and I wanted to check them out so I bought a bunch of them and they came so cutely packaged like this and the tubes are in here somewhere I will get to that eventually but this is kind of what the outer packaging looked like and I saved them all for you guys in here so let me go ahead and open some of these babies up this is the shade lap of luxury which is adorable quite a few shades in here that i haven't tried yet worth the wait this one's empty i guess i took out all the fun colors and left kind of all the neutral ones in here still so i have a kind of like a review video of some of my Sydney Grace cream shadows, I originally only purchased five of them to try out and then I really enjoyed the formula. So I bought more shades and so I'm really excited to play with these guys. This one is like a really cute Lake Days and it's like a green shade. It kind of looks like Telepathy by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. I really like a good like chartreuse color. There is that and like I said in my review of these, you don't need a whole lot to get some nice opaque color. And these are just really great. They set really nicely. They're probably one of my favorite just like liquid eyeshadow formulas. So if you've been wanting to try some, I would totally recommend. I love this formula by Sydney Grace. The next things I bought are some more things from Juvia's Place. So I bought two more things from their Afrique collection. I don't know if I showed you guys, but the palette is in here too somewhere. I bought that right away when it launched. Where is it? Sorry, this is not organized well. Um, here's the palette. This is their latest palette and it's gorgeous. I'm gonna do a review on this guy, but I love the colors in this palette. And even though it does look like super scary at first if you're not into color, this whole row is really neutral, so it's a fun palette to kind of get into some color but still have those safe neutral shades. They also did a liquid lipstick in that collection, so I picked up the liquid lipstick because I was really, really curious to see if their formula was any good. And they also did two blushes. The other one is in here somewhere. Again, sorry guys, it's going to be kind of a mess. This one I haven't opened yet because I wanted to just test out the formula of these, but they are super pretty. Let me see here if I can open this up. Actually, I'll show you guys the other one once we get to it, but I was just really curious because I have both of Juvia's Place's blush palette, and so I wanted to get these, and they're only eight bucks, and the packaging is so cute, and I love supporting Juvia's Place because they are a black-owned makeup brand. Um, so here is, I have this little basket of stuff. Oh my gosh. So here are my other, like, Sydney Grace cream eyeshadows, which I love. These are really, really nice. And then I got these guys, which was something I saw on YouTuber Melissa Gold's channel or on her Instagram. They're these like 
dual chrome liners from the brand JD Glow Cosmetics. These are definitely kind of spendy and I want to do a dedicated video on these. So let me know if you guys are interested but they're these beautiful like dual chrome liquid liners and so they're great for like a little cat eyes. And I want to show you guys like swatches of them and stuff. But yeah, they're freaking gorgeous and I'm so so glad I picked these up and I think they're doing more for the fall time. So yeah, I'm really excited. So glad I picked these up. I don't think I'll ever get through all of them, but yeah, I'm so glad I have these and they're such a fun, unique product. And I do believe this is an indie brand. So if you want to support some indies, I know I have a lot of like brands, like some you might have not heard of in here. So that's kind of exciting. I did pick up one ColourPop lippy. What collection was this? I don't know, but it's their, a new color from their Ultra Blotted Lips, and I really like this formula. It kind of gives you that popsicle lip look, which was really in last summer, and I just saw a nice bright orange with a little bit of gloss. It's just going to look perfect for the summertime. I should probably put some lipstick on because I don't actually have any lipstick on, but I love the Ultra Blotted Lip Formula, and so... It was kind of fun to see that they did like a bright shade. I don't think they had any other bright shades come out recently. And then here's more Sydney Grace. I clearly bought a lot of those. Okay, so more things in here. I did try this brand Belegant or Be Elegant. I don't, I think it's Be Elegant. I think people say Belegant because there's a B, but it's an apostrophe and then elegant. So Be Elegant. This is a brand that Angelica Nyquist talked about here on YouTube if you haven't seen her channel. I have her permanently linked in my description box because I talk about her so much, but after she had mentioned them, I really wanted to try out some of their liquid lipsticks because she talked about how they have these like weird like yellowish shade colors, and I thought it might be fun to try one out, but they had a huge sale, and I picked up like eight shades because they were doing like buy two, get two free, and I'm not a huge fan of this formula. I feel like I got a bunch of old lipsticks because they feel very crumbly when I put them on, and so, I don't know, I feel like they are kind of like old. And like, look at, if you can see in here, like it's kind of like condensing and stuff, which is really, really odd. And I just was not very excited about that. So, not a hit in my book. I also tried so hard to resist the Dosa Colors collab with Karen or I Love Sarah E, but I ended up caving because I was obsessed. She did this red shade, which I mean, what a perfect color for summer. And then I bought this one because I couldn't stop thinking about aesthetic. And this is just like my favorite nude to wear. It's like a sienna shade, like a perfect brown nude for me. So I am so happy I have these. And I don't have a lot from Dose. I have the one lip color that Desi and Katie came out with. And then I have a shade called Mondays, I think, from them. And now I have these two. So really like the formula it works well i like some of the shades they have i really hope my teeth aren't orange right now and i have no way to check so let me just do that okay i'm gonna trust you guys and hopefully i don't have any <laughs> have any uh stuff in my teeth okay i'm just gonna get this out of the way because this is cringe worthy but i did you know make the mistake of <laughs> Falling for Jacqueline um, Hill's, you know, stories about these vaults and how they were remade and allegedly this and allegedly that. I did buy mine. I'm still confused because mine don't have that V2 on them. And I don't know. I haven't really been very excited to try this formula after all the controversy and stuff like that. I still feel like we were like pretty much lied to, which I should have known better. I don't really like to support Morphe because I've seen some of the inconsistencies in the past with them, but I actually really like the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I pulled it out and used it the other day and I was like, gosh, this is really actually good quality. Even from a brand like Morphe or if it was another brand, I would have still recommended it to you guys so I didn't want to miss out thinking that this would be the same quality my ones aren't I don't know let me know if you guys bought this because I'm really curious like if I got the duds or you know I don't even know I can't even keep her story straight anymore because according to her all the palettes were destroyed then it was just the like they saved the components so they could repackage like 
None of her story really made sense to me personally. But anyway, I wanted to hit the free shipping mark. And so I ordered a few more things. I actually have had very decent luck with Morphe brushes. I feel like you definitely get what you pay for with these. So I don't really mind like buying them because they last long enough where I can justify the cost. I am just like one of those people that has the hardest time spending like a ton of money on a brush. I think the most I've spent on a brush is um, the Tom Ford bronzer brush and I bought that on beautylish.com because I didn't want to spend a hundred and something dollars right away so I did the payments but I just can't imagine spending like fifty dollars on an eyeshadow brush etc etc so these work well for me you know if I change my mind someday and decide to try like a really more high-end brand or just something that's not Morphe, I will. Let me know your suggestions of what have worked for you in the past. I have picked up like Sony Akashic brushes and stuff as well and I actually really like the new Wet n Wild brushes, the ones that have like the white bristles with the pink ombre. But Morphe just has such great variety so I did buy that eye brush set. I also bought this because I've heard so many of my YouTube friends talking about this palette so my friend Paulina from Paulina's Beauty as well as Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips. Basically, I love those two girls and I didn't I didn't want to buy this palette because I actually screenshotted Jaclyn Hill's video when she said this palette was going to be limited edition and you have to buy it like because it was going to be limited edition and then it relaunched again a couple of months ago and of course I was like fuck like now I want it and there's some other girl too that I watch on YouTube. She's super gorgeous and she loves this palette and her makeup is always like on point so I was like okay let me get it and it was I don't know it was kind of pricey for Morphe but I figured since I was placing an order I'll just get everything I want I'm also kind of tempted to get some of their lip products because some of the youtubers I like talk about their lip products as well but I haven't caved yet and then I bought this brush set too because it was super affordable but I just love having extra eye brushes because I constantly feel like I want a new brush I want a new brush so I always like to stock up on brushes so I can have multiple clean ones to use every time I do a different eye look or reach for another color another brand that I didn't want to support for a long time but then recently I did shop her sale I actually bought a ton more of her nail polishes what happened was I used to love Kathleen Lights and I got some of her first colors when I used to support her brand and then I didn't use her nail polish for a while and then one day I whipped it out and it was in the same condition as when I had bought it which was amazing to me because I feel like a lot of nail polishes I buy the longer they sit there the quality kind of deteriorates and so I was really impressed by how long they lasted and how they like held their form they weren't gunky or goopy or too thick to apply and then kale polish had a huge sale so I took advantage picked up some of their nail polishes this was I think their fall bundle last year um, I pulled one out I think to use but I really like her nail polish formula and she honestly has one of the best nail polish formulas that I've tried. I've tried Essie, Nail Zing, Zuiva, you know a, a lot of different price ranges and this is, I think, the best one on the market. So I've kind of decided not to buy any other brand's nail polishes. Even though I featured like an Essie nail polish in my previous haul, I had kind of told you guys I wasn't really in love with the color. But I think Kathleen does a really good job of creating colors that really work with the seasons we're in. And I'm actually really excited to see her new collection that's coming out for fall. Okay, so the next few things I want to show you guys are brushes. Two brushes I got from Sephora Collection. This one I saw on sephora.com and I was just like so interested in seeing what this baby could do. This is the Sephora Even Tail uh, Precision Fan Detail Brush 62 and I bought this because it reminded me of the Sonya G brushes that Terra Babies talks about constantly on her channel and she really likes it. I think the Sonya G brushes might be a little bit bigger. I do like the Sephora brand brushes. I think they are well made. I know a lot of people don't like to support the Sephora brand because they aren't cruelty free, which I do think is quite unfortunate, but I did pick that up because I was so curious about the brush. And then I also bought this Pro Tight Liner number 32 brush. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so, so tiny. And you can basically use this to do your tight line which is like in your eyelashes here just to kind of like do eyeliner as well if you like to use a powder shadow to 
kind of do an eyeliner look this is super duper handy so I'm so glad I found like more affordable versions of some high-end brushes I wanted to try so I wanted to show these to you guys as well next few things are drugstore I just thought this was so cool this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara and this is in the shade Burgundy and it's so fun like it's such a fun alternate to wearing just a regular black mascara. I believe this also comes in a blue tube, so if you wanted like a blue mascara. But I love that they did this color because I think it's so fun for fall. It is very subtle and I don't know, it's just kind of fun to play around with colored mascara. I haven't been to, into colored mascara in a while, but I am happy I tried it. I also picked up two eyeliners from them. This shade I haven't opened up yet, but this is Cobalt Blue by L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Pro Last formula, and then this purple I have been using, and this is the shade Purple Violet. I've been really into colorful eyeliners and colorful mascaras recently, so if you have any good affordable recommendations for me, I would really appreciate it because I'm not trying to spend like an arm and a leg on eyeliners and mascaras. And then this one, I think somebody I saw talking about this mascara saying it was a great bottom lash mascara because of a, it has like a really thin brush. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara in very black. And I think, of course, this was probably like 3 to 4 to $5. So I figured I would try it out and see. As you can see, I haven't opened it up yet, but I plan to when I need a new mascara. This one I heard Coffee Break with Danny talk about, and she said it's just like the best drugstore mascara. She said it was the best drugstore black eyeliner, and this is the... L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm excited to try this. I always need a good black wing liner. So I love to use any kind of nice dark black liner in my eyeball. So I'm excited to have that. Then I also screwed up and placed a Wet n Wild order and ended up with some brushes. So these are the Wet n Wild Crease Brushes. And then this is the large eyeshadow brush. I really like all of these brushes. I think they're great. With any formula, honestly, they are so, so reliable and just easy to use and so affordable as well. And the reason I accidentally ordered all of these is because I wanted this freaking bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild Bronzer in Queensland. And this is from their Fire Dragon Ice Dragon collection. So I was trying to be good because I really wanted some of their Zodiac highlighters. And I was like, Karen, you don't need any more highlighters. Like, don't give yourself a reason to... I'm looking for something. Don't give yourself an excuse to buy more highlighters, even though they are from Wet n Wild and affordable. But an affordable Wet n Wild bronzer was just like, yes. So I wanted to buy two. And then somehow I was like at the movie theater or something in a rush to check out. And so I checked out and somehow paid for shipping and spent $31 and I was so mad at myself and I ordered brushes I didn't need and I accidentally ordered four of these bronzers. Luckily this shade does show up on my skin tone. I believe this is the darkest one. Then I've already made a considerable dent in it which makes me really really happy because there's nothing I love more than using my makeup products. So yeah, very excited to have this guy and I think it's actually a really good bronzer. So if you've been meaning to try it out and you have my skin, I think you can pull this off. I don't think if you're deeper than me though that you could probably use this and I'm pretty sure this is the darkest color. So just wanted to let you guys know about that. Okay guys, that is it for haul part two. I will catch you in haul part three, which will be up not today, but it'll be up the day after tomorrow, just because I like to upload every other day. So I will catch you then. Bye guys.